There we go. Welcome. Happy New Year. Oh, gosh, it's so lovely that we're back on the map. And um, I must admit, I didn't take any time off for my teaching at the gym over the holidays. And uh, I was feeling quite smug when all the other instructors kind of staggered in yesterday saying, oh, I really ache. Oh, God, I can't move now. Oh, it's like, oh, I can. <laughs> anyway, apologies if you've heard this. I think Tess is the only one who might have heard this one, but um, uh, from Sunday. I was saying then, I'm, I'm not a, a huge fan of New Year because I think if we're not careful, there can be a huge amount of expectation first placed on the night itself. If we're not kind of doing something dramatic, then we're clearly very sad. I was sad. I was in bed by, I think, about half past eight. But, um, but also I think there can be an awful lot of pressure to, um, to kind of see the new year as almost this time to reinvent oneself or to take on some huge project or, or, or something. And if you're not doing that, again, there is a temptation to feel that you, you're, you kind of miss the boat somehow, you're failing in some way. And I read this lovely article, I'm just going to read it to you before we start, and I think it's a lovely way to start the new year. There was a New Year's Eve when I vowed to become a staggeringly talented black belt. There was a year I planned to write a best-selling novel so critically acclaimed that I would be a guest on Desert Island Discs. I told myself in 2017 I must make a complicated recipe from a cookbook every week. I've tried that. Another year, my New Year's resolution was to get through the literary classics, starting with War and Peace and moving on to Moby Dick later in the month. I also told myself I would do an hour of yoga before work every day and be incredibly impressive at my job all week, every week. And obviously, I did none of these things. In 2020, YouGov found that only a quarter of people who made resolutions kept all of them. In fact, that sounds quite high, suspiciously so, and almost half managed to keep some of them. Around a quarter admitted that they had failed entirely. That's a lot of people left feeling like failures, a feeling I had become used to, not because of me, but because of resolutions. Four years ago, I vowed to stop making New Year's resolutions about ambition, success and hard work. I declared that from then on, my resolution would simply be to have a nice time and I would take it seriously. This has been liberating. Have a nice time is an adaptable goal. It might mean start a pottery course or travel to that amazing country, but it can also mean sit under your duvet, read Bridget Jones again and eat a tub of salt and vinegar Pringles. My resolution for 2022 is, once again, to have a nice time. It might not seem much, but if in the midst of the grief, loss, confusion, pressure, hard work and fear that's integral to life, if we aim to dedicate more slots of five minutes or five hours to simply enjoying ourselves, we're all the better for it. Here, here to that. Here's to having a nice time. So let's start as we need to carry on this morning. Let's bring ourselves down onto our backs. If you're not there already, make sure I don't get tangled in my wires. Bring your knees up towards your chest. Oh, pop something underneath your head if you need to, underneath your back of your pelvis as you start to gently rock from side to side, or maybe even take the knees around in a circle, whatever feels nice to you this morning. Just ease away any morning tension, New Year tension from the lower back there. When you gently Ease your way into the back of the pelvis, the low back. Go ahead, you can bring your feet down to the floor. You might want to keep your knees pointed up towards the ceiling. Take them a little further apart so you can rest your knees against each other. That's lovely if your back's feeling tight today. Or go ahead and stretch the legs out in front of you, one at a time. Maybe a little roll across the back of your heels until you let your toes roll open and your heels in so you get a little bit of space across the hips. Arms exactly where you feel you want them to be today. So either alongside you, or if like me, you've been feeling a little bit discombobulated with all the comings and goings over Christmas, then feel free to put a hand on your belly and a hand on your chest there. I might just come up and sit so I can talk to you for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, feel the shoulders just melt away. From your ears, your face begin to soften, your jaw begin to relax, and all the busyness that goes with this wonderful festive period begin to melt away. And maybe this is the first time you've had the opportunity to press pause in a while. 
take a little bit of time for yourself. Again, in the midst of all the comings and goings, the changing routine, there's something quite comforting and reassuring about coming back to a practice, coming back to your mats, coming back to yourself. So let's start just by reconnecting with our breath this morning, remembering that first and foremost, yoga starts with our breath. <clears throat> So just start to allow the breath to perhaps drop a little bit deeper down into your lower belly if that's comfortable this morning. Nice deep steady breaths. Every inhale, an opportunity to recharge, revitalize. And every exhale, an opportunity just to release, to sink a little bit deeper into the mat, relaxing back of the pelvis, across the hips, a great area where we can hold a lot of tension sometimes without knowing that we are doing so. Feeling the chest broaden as the shoulder blades just begin to release into the floor beneath you. A couple more breaths like that. I'm really enjoying kind of reacquainting yourselves with your bodies this morning, if you haven't done yoga for a while, really enjoying the opportunity to stretch it all out. Hopefully we'll feel really nice afterwards, having moved our body very gently. So if you've had your hands resting reassuringly on your chest and on your belly, let's all just bring the arms down alongside you now, turning the palms up towards the sky. So you can gently start to wiggle your fingers, warming up through the joints. It's been a dank old, week or so isn't it lovely to see some wintry sunshine today even though it's a little chillier so let's warm up the joints maybe you're not happy with all that dampness and then we'll just start to open and close the hands you might have your thumbs in the center of your palm and the fingers curling around your thumbs you might have your thumbs on top of your fingers maybe alternate between the two it makes a little bit of difference to how you feel the stretch and then keeping your um, uh, palms just spread open, we'll lift up onto our elbows so you can start to circle the wrists now. Little twirls, little twirls. First in one direction and then around in the opposite direction, keeping the fingers moving, moving with the breath. Lovely. And then we'll just place the arms back down alongside you, this time palms to the floor. You can keep the legs outstretched. You can go ahead and bend your legs. We're just going to work into the arms a little bit. Tune in with our breath. So on your next inhale, float the arms up towards the ceiling and maybe continue to bring them back behind the head if that's comfortable this morning. And then as you exhale, let's all bring the arms back down alongside you, keeping the palms spread. Lovely. Inhaling up or up and back. So you might just point your fingers up towards the ceiling. You might take the arms back in a generous V-shape. Exhale, you might have the upper arms by your ears. So as we do a couple more, Reminding ourselves to listen to our bodies, make whatever adaptations we need this morning. Oh, that feels good already to stretch out through the side body. Maybe there's a little arching of the back if that feels good, lifting your chest up. Oh, beautiful. Then we'll bring the arms all the way back down and pause there, arms landing. Let's take one last steep inhale, floating the arms up and back and bringing the hands behind the head. We're going to keep them there now if your knees are bent. Let's all straighten the legs out in front of you. So in a lovely full body stretch. And this time we'll start to circle the ankles and the wrists. Warming up into the feet, getting the arms moving, the wrists moving. And then round the opposite way. Again, with this damp weather, really important that we warm the joints up sufficiently before we do anything too dramatic. Lovely. Point the toes, reach back through the fingers again. Maybe arch your back a little bit as you take an inhale. Oh, and as you exhale, walk the heels in, bring your hands back down alongside your heels, snuggled in towards your sits bones. And just lift your toes up from the floor, give them a wiggle. And then as you bring your toes back down to the floor, really try and root down into the base of the big toe and the base of the little toe in the middle of your heel so you feel nice and grounded through your feet. Going back to those arm movements, but now adding a little bit with the spine. So as you inhale, let's float the arms all the way up or up and back. And this time as you exhale and lower the arms, start to curl the tailbone under, maybe just pick up your bum just an inch or so from the floor as you come into a tiny shoulder bridge. Inhale, drop the hips, arms float back, 
Again, maybe that little arch of your back as you puff up your chest. And as you exhale, imprint the back into the mat, lower the arms and lift the hips, maybe coming up a little bit higher. A couple more times, so beginning to articulate through the spine, getting that lovely stretch through the side body as well. And keeping that contact with those three points, base of big toe, base of little toe, middle of heel. So this next time you come up into that shoulder bridge, hips lifted, arms down alongside you, we're gonna pause there. Maybe your sit bones are roughly level with the backs of the knees. If you can, walk your feet in a little closer so you can rise up onto the balls of the feet. Lift your heels and lift your hips up a little bit higher. Option to keep your hands down on the floor alongside you or bring them all the way back behind you. Heels lifted, arms lengthening back. Keep the arms where they are. Keep the heels lifted as you roll your way down through the spine. Unless someone's gently tugging your fingertips back and lengthening your knees forwards. Beautiful, lowering yourself down. And then drop the heels, bring one knee to your chest, bend the other, one hand on each knee. And gently take the legs round in a circle again. Knees might be together or a little bit apart there, whatever feels nice for the hips. Circling one way, then round the other way. And energetically deciding how you're feeling this morning, how you want to come up to a seated position. So either rolling to one side or joining me, holding behind the knees, woo, all the way up. Beautiful. Let's stretch the legs out in front of you. I'll turn sideways on. So if hamstrings feel tight, pop a real generous bend in your knees this morning. Let's sweep the arms up towards the ceiling as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, hinging forward from the hips without any expectation of reaching your toes. If you do, brilliant. If not, no worries. Rolling your way down. Let's walk the hands back up the legs. Let's add the breath. Inhale as you elongate through the sides of the waist, reaching up. And exhale, hinging forwards. Walking the hands back up the legs. Let's do that again. Inhale reaching up towards the sky and exhale keeping that leg through the side body coming all the way down lovely let's do that one more time hands walking back lifting up inhale it's time as you exhale let's pause in that forward fold so some of you might find your feet some of you might have your hands on either side of your thighs maybe your shins and if there are any back issues remember that lovely one of wrapping the hands around the thighs backs of the thighs and just curling yourself into a little board so if hamstrings or back are feeling a little bit this morning, try that option there. Easing your way into the hamstrings, the back seam of the body. Lovely. And then slowly, slowly, we'll walk the hands back up the legs. I'm going to take the legs out nice and wide now. I know, not the most elegant of positions. Hands come behind you. You're going to pick up your hips and then send your bottom back behind you before you bring it back down to the floor. So you've slightly tipped your pelvis forward. Fingertips come to the floor, point the toes up towards the sky, take an inhale. And as you exhale, take a little walk forwards, and it might be a very little walk forwards. Some of you might be able to drop down a little bit deeper, depends on how open the hips are feeling. Have a little peep at your toes and check your toes are still pointed up towards the sky. Whoa, that's a good one for the inner thighs, isn't it? Lovely, walking the hands back. That's a tough old stretch, that one. So we're going to bring the right heel in towards your groin and bring the left hand onto your right shin or ankle. So right arm arcs up as you inhale and over the top as you exhale. You can tuck your chin in and look up or keep the gaze down. Let's reach that right arm all the way up, bringing it down behind the hip. Point the toes, sweep the left arm in front of the face, an option to pick up the hips as you take your gaze back down to the floor behind you. Lower the hips, sweep the arm all the way back, taking hold of shin or ankle. Right arm lifts up, inhale. All the way over the top, exhale, pause. Again, you can tuck your chin in, chest open. Let's come all the way back up, and coming down. You can always just sweep the arm in front of the face, point the toes, or again, pick up the hips, gently pressing them forwards, lovely. Slowly, slowly, we'll come all the way back down onto our bottoms. You're going to keep the heel in towards the groin, but slightly turn your chest now over that extended leg. So you'll square over the left leg, sweeping the arms up as you inhale. And exhale, let's come down over the left leg this time. So we're trying not to dip the chest 
one way or the other. Again, it doesn't matter how far we come. Easing our way down. Generous bend in the knees if you need to. And then walking the hands back. Going to bend the right knee. So foot comes to the floor, roughly alongside the left knee. Left hand or elbow brings that knee in towards your chest, ready for a twist. So let's sweep the right arm all the way up towards the sky. And then either bringing the fingertips to the floor behind you or just bringing the hands onto your low back, whatever feels comfortable. Let's pick up the chest as you inhale. And as you exhale, can you turn a little bit deeper into that twist? Energize out through the heel of that extended leg. Let's not forget that left leg in front of us. Lovely. Slowly unraveling, coming back to the center. Bring both hands behind you, fingertips pointing forwards or slightly out to the side. But press into your hands, feel the shoulder blades slide down the back, maybe lift your chin. Option to press into the sole of the right foot and pick up the hips again, pointing the toes down towards the floor. Keep the chin tucked in. Feel the right thigh and glute firing up there. And then we'll lower ourselves all the way down. Take the legs out nice and wide, coming back through the middle. Again, you might want to adjust your bottom. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale. That little walk forwards. And this one, just have a little wiggle, wiggle through the toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles, and then see if you can send the heels out and away from you. You might feel that you can just ease your way down a little bit more there. But it's a tough old stretch, that one. Lovely, walking the hands back up. This time, left heel coming in towards your groin. So we've got the right hand on shin or ankle. Left arm reaching up, breath in. Breathing out all the way over the top, chin tucking in. Lovely, coming all the way back, bringing the hand down just behind the hip. We'll release that right hand in front of the face, point the toes, option to scoop the hips forward, so lifting your bum. And then all the way down. Oh, that feels nice. Hand to shin or ankle. Left arm lifting, breath in. Oh, at the top as you breathe out and try and keep your chin and chest kind of square to me so we're not. Dropping forwards, lovely, all the way back, hand coming down. And last time, right arm sweeps in front of the face. Maybe we'll push the hips forward, forward, and stretch of the hips, come all the way back down. Beautiful, so again, we might need to pick up the hips, just to slide that right hip back so you're more or less square over the extended leg now. Arms lifting up, breath in, breathing out, let's stretch it all out, coming over the right leg. Tuck your chin in ever so slightly so the head isn't drooping there. Neck is an extension of the spine, let's not forget. Ease our way down. One side might feel different to the other this morning. Hands coming back. And again, this time we'll place left foot to floor. Knee points up towards the sky. Right hand or elbow locks the knee in place. So this time it's that big circle with the left arm. So you're turning towards that bent knee. Other hand coming behind you. And again, use an inhale to lift the chest. And as you exhale, see if you can just rotate a little bit deeper, rolling that shoulder back behind you. You might even turn your head. Oh, hello, here comes trouble. Lovely, let's come back through the middle, bringing the hands behind you. Fingertips point forwards or slightly out to the side. So level one, you might just wanna press into your hands, lift your chin, feel that lovely broadening across your collarbones. If you want a little bit more, Press into the foot, lift the hips, keeping the chin tucked in. So there's a little bit of weight bearing going on there. Lovely, chin tucking in as you roll your weight down. Stretch the legs out, give the knees a little bounce. And then we'll tuck the feet round behind you and come on to all fours. Very friend at the door, desperate to come in. We'll see if we can ignore him, hey. So again, if you felt a little bit kind of discombobulated with a changing routine, really ground yourself now by spreading your hands nice and wide on the mat directly underneath your shoulders or a little wider apart if your shoulders and chest feel tight today. So as you press into your hands, feel the lower abdominals begin to tighten up as you come into that lovely tabletop position. Beautiful. Without losing that connection through the hands, keep pressing into them. As you inhale, just let your belly dip, your tailbone lift and maybe your chin fall forwards a little ways. And then exhale like that angry cat, like mine outside the door there, rounding up. Maybe close your eyes now as you continue just to roll with each breath. Inhaling, keep pressing into your hands. And exhale, tucking under. It's 
So that lovely articulation through the spine. Now, if you're feeling a little bit lacking in energy, maybe a little bit drained, you can slow this down. If you're wanting a little bit more, you can speed it up. Use your breath to get rid of some of that excess energy, maybe. Lovely. So the next time you're in the angry cat position, let's pause, tucking tailbone under, chin tucking in, and very slowly just start to nudge your hips from one side to the other, to the left, to the right. And then maybe bring your ear to your shoulder so you're making a little C shape with the spine, shortening one side of the waist and lengthening the other. Lovely. And this time as you wiggle your way back to the middle, let's take a nice breath in. And as you breathe out, slide your hips to your heels and walk your hands forwards, maybe lifting up onto your fingertips into that lovely child pose. Don't worry if your bottom doesn't touch your heels. And just take a couple of lovely breaths there, breathing, breathing some width and breath into the back body, spreading the shoulder blades. Nice. And then finding your way back onto all fours. Now slide your right leg back behind you. Now as you take the right leg back behind you, keep pressing into your hands, firm up through the lower belly as you slide your left fingertips forwards. And then lift the arm and the leg, shoulder and hip height. If you feel wibbly wobbly, maybe just bring the hand down and work the leg. We'll take an inhale. Exhale as you bring knee and elbow together underneath you, round the back. Inhale, extend, little tiger pose. Exhale, let's get those juices flowing. Round on up, lovely, twice more. So again, if this feels too um, unbalanced today, just work the leg or maybe just work the arm. One more time, inhale. And exhale. So this next time we've got arm and leg extended, let's pause, maybe lifting that front arm a little higher, thumb up towards the sky. Going to bring the hand down, bring the ball of the foot to the floor behind you so that leg is still straight. Gonna pivot on your left knee, so flick the shin behind you, turning to the long edge of your mat. So we're gonna sweep the right fingertips forwards and up as you open up through the chest into a little side plank variation. And exhale, arm comes down. Twice more, so you can always bend the elbow if the shoulder feels tight today. And then all the way back and down, lovely. Let's do one more nice big rotation, maybe looking up towards the hand. Beautiful, then we'll bring the hand down, uh-oh, and bring yourself back onto your mat. You're going to tuck the right toes under and lift the hips up into a downward facing dog. Oh no, furry friends. Let's have a little pedal out through the feet. Pressing one heel down and then the other. Maybe a little sway of the hips from side to side there. Oh, lovely. And then on your next inhale, we'll drop down onto our hands and knees. Exhaling, flatten the feet. We'll take hips to heels, coming into that child pose. And this time we'll keep the hands flat to the floor. As you inhale, come on to all fours. And as you exhale, let's roll down onto our tummies. Lovely, pressing into your hands, come all the way back up, back onto all fours. And exhale, sliding hips to heels. Now, optionally, you can skip this bit out. Inhale, coming forwards and up. Exhale, rolling our way back down. <laughs> Inhale up. Oh, you can't resist a bit of yoga in the morning. Exhale, all the way back. Lovely, one more of those. Rising up, really keeping those elbows tucking in. Inhaling up. Something's never changed, hey? Back into that child pose, it's gliding back to heels. Lovely, and then as you find your way back onto all fours, we're gonna try that little sequence with the left leg. So press into your hands, firm up through the belly, left foot slides back, we'll try and keep the hip points pointing towards the floor. And we slide the right fingertips forwards. Option two, just work the arm or the leg, or lifting arm and leg, shoulder and hip height, take an inhale. And as you exhale, elbow to knee underneath you. Inhaling, extend. And exhaling, rounding up underneath. Oh, thank you, Milu. Inhaling, extend. Exhaling, squeezing it all in one more time, pausing there now. See if you can lift that front arm a little bit higher. Beautiful. Then we'll bring the hand down underneath the shoulder. Foot coming to the floor behind you. We'll keep the leg extended. So this time we're going to pivot on your right knee, shin flicking back behind you, turning to the long edge of the mat. So sweep the left arm forwards and up, opening up through the chest as you inhale. 
and exhale all the way down, lovely. Twice more, so again, you can lead with the elbow, keep the hips pressed forwards. Exhaling down, one more time, big rotation through the shoulder, all the way up. And then again, as you bring the hand back to the floor this time, bring your chest back onto the mat there, tuck the right foot under and come up into your downward facing dog. And again, we'll have a little pedal out through the feet there. Again, maybe a little swing of the hips side to side. Beautiful. And then as you inhale, let's come back down onto all fours, exhaling hips to heels. Now option to have a little rest there or join me in one of our moving flows. Inhale to all fours. Exhale, peeling the chest forwards and down, elbows come in. Inhale as you lift the chest. And exhale, gliding back into that child pose. Let's come back onto all fours, tucking the toes under so we can lift the hips up into our downward dog. So on our downward dog, again, start to pedal out the feet, maybe this time adding a little twist. So as one leg straightens, so you turn the body towards that straight leg, having a little peek under the armpit there. And then we'll bring the big toes and the ankles together. You can always do this from all fours if you don't want to stay in downward dog. Push the hips up and back. Let's try some leg lifts. So right leg floating up and back as you inhale, toes turning out a little. And exhale, slowly lowering. Left foot lifting. So as you lift your toilet legs, try not to shift the weight from hand to hand. Exhale to lower. Can we do one more of each, each leg? Yeah, right leg floating up as you inhale. And exhale, floating back down. Last time with that left leg. Turning the toes out ever so slightly. And then bringing the feet back down to the floor. Lovely. Going to generously bend the knees, looking forwards. And as you inhale, step or spring your right foot forwards and we'll drop the back knee. Flattening the foot. Lovely. Inhale, sweep the arms forwards and up. Exhale, flexing the wrists, sweep the arms all the way out to the side and then fingertips to the floor. Lift the chest as you inhale. And as you exhale, start to move the hips back, maybe keeping the knee bent and the foot on the floor for this first one. Bend the knees, sweep the arms up, big breath in. Exhale, push the arms out to the side, all the way back down to the floor. Lifting the chest as you inhale. Exhale, maybe this time you start to straighten the leg and pull the toes to the face. Lovely, one more time, inhaling, dropping the hips. Exhale, flex the wrist, bit of energy through the arms this morning. Fingertips finding the floor. Inhale, lift the chest. And this time as you exhale, let's pause in a hamstring stretch. So we can always have a nice bend in the knee, foot flat, or slide the heel away from you. Pushing the heel down and pulling the toes back towards you. Nudge those hips back to the middle of the mat. And if you want a little bit more, right hand cups your right foot and you gently pull the toes back towards your face. Go easy on hamstring. Lovely. Let's roll through the foot, plant the hands either side. Keep the left hand on the floor as you take that right arm all the way up towards the sky to a lovely twist, pulling the chest forward. Let's take an inhale there. And as you exhale, both hands to the inside, inside of that front foot. Now hug your knee against your elbow. And this time we're gonna take the left arm up. So keep pulling the chest forwards. A little bit of balance challenge there as well, hey? And then we'll lower all the way back down, separate the hands, pick up the back knee and we'll step back into our downward facing dog. So option to lower to the knees or this time as you inhale, roll the body forwards to plank, shoulders above wrists and as you exhale, put the knees down and the chest lowers. Inhaling into your cobra, squeeze those elbows in and exhale, ripple your way down. Let's come back onto all fours as you inhale. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. You might need to walk your feet in a step or two. Again, maybe a generous bend of the knees as you bring your ankles your, and your big toes together. Let's try those leg lifts with the left leg leading this time. Inhale, left leg floats up towards the sky and exhale, slowly lowering. Just one more with that right leg. Inhale to lift up and exhale to lower. So this time we'll bend the knees, take the gaze forwards. And as you inhale, step or spring, woo, left foot forwards. Oh, we lose head enough, lower the back knee. So that's it, that's my stretching done. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, push the palms out and down. 
fingertips finding the floor. We keep the chest lifted as you inhale, and then we take that little movement back through the hips. Lovely, again, might be a deep knee bend on that first one. Inhale, sweep the arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale, swing the arms all the way back down to the floor. Picking up the chest as you inhale. Exhale, gliding hips back to heels. Lovely, one more time, inhale. Oh, exhale, maybe the arms come a little bit back behind the body if the shoulders are up for that this morning. Hands finding the floor as you inhale. And then as you exhale, let's find that hamstring stretch on this side. So again, it might be knee bent. You might slide that foot forwards. And my bottom always kind of moves over to the right there. So swinging those hips back to the middle of the mat. Maybe left hand over the toes, gently pulling the toes back towards your face. So you're deepening that stretch there. Beautiful. Let's roll through the foot, plant the hands, really drop the hips so the chest pulls forwards as you take the left arm up towards the sky this time, turning towards your bent knee. Take an inhale as you reach up. Exhale, hands to inside, inside a front foot. So you can squeeze your knee against your upper arm. Again, bring the chest forwards as you peel right arm up this time. So it's a little hip stretch as well as a balance challenge, hey? Eh? Woohoo, let's bring the hands down. Frame the foot, pick up the back knee, downward facing dog. Option to skip this bit, drop to all fours or inhale to plank with knee, shoulders above wrists. Exhale, maybe the knees are lifted, choice is yours, knees can touch down first. Inhale into your little cobra, squeezing the elbows in. And exhale, stretching the chest all the way back down. Let's come back onto all fours as you inhale. And exhale, hips high, downward dog. And this time, let's have a little walk of the dog to the top of the mat, bending your knees. So we all end up in a forward fold at the top of the mat. You can cradle your elbows this morning and gently sway side to side. And if you don't want to be in a forward fold for whatever reason, just prop yourself up on your thighs and lift your head. If you're having that little sway, just moving gently from side to side, moving from the waist. Oh, real effortless and ease there, head dropping down. And then let's let go of the elbows so you can slide the hands up the legs, bringing them to your thighs. So you find that lovely halfway lift, that number seven shape of the body. Firm up through the belly, lengthen up through the tailbone and crown of head. Back issues, keep your hands on your knees or reach the arms out to the side, shoulder height like aeroplane wings. Beautiful, we're gonna drop the hips as you sweep the arms forwards and up into a nice wide V coming into a chair pose. Lovely, take the gaze forwards. And then as you straighten the legs, option to stay there or rise up onto the balls of the feet, adding a little balance. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, lower the heels with resistance as you swim the hands behind the low back so we can interlace them. Draw the knuckles down, roll the shoulder blades down the back, lift the chin, broaden the chest. Beautiful, and then slowly, slowly release. It's gonna adjust the camera, so we're at the top of the mat. So we're gonna do a couple of rounds of um, sun salutes with a little variation. You can do as much or as little as you want. So making sure you're at the top of your mat. I'll start to mirror you, hands coming to your heart. Feet about hip width apart, lovely. Let's take an inhale. And as you exhale, hips glide back, heart stays lifted as we find our chair pose again. So check your knees aren't rolling in, keep them above your ankles. And we'll take the arms out, it's that lovely wide V shape again, if that's for you, drop the shoulders. Lovely, now that right hand, right hand, we're gonna slice across the body. So back of right hand comes to outside of left thigh. Take a little peep under that left armpit, hips stay square. Inhale through the middle, back into your chair. Exhale, left hand slices across, lovely. Inhaling into your chair pose. And as you exhale, let's take a forward fold all the way down. Hands slide up the legs as you inhale into that halfway lift. And as you exhale, plant the hands, slide or set the right leg back behind you. Drop the hips, lift the chest, look forwards. Lovely hip stretch. Let's step back into our downward facing dog, hips nice and high. Pausing there, pressing into your hands, stretching out through the sides of the waist. Rolling the body forwards to plank on an inhale. And as you exhale, knees lifted or lowered, carefully down onto your tummy. 
Inhale into your cobra, or maybe this time pressing into palms of hands, tops of feet, upward dog. And then tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Remember that upward dog isn't for everyone, so you can always choose that cobra, lovely. Shifting the weight into your left foot, right leg floats up as you inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to step that foot forward. It's now option to keep the back knee lifted this time, or go ahead and lower it. Floating the arms up on an inhale, high or low lunge. And as you exhale, let's bring the hands all the way back down to the floor. Stepping the feet together, top of the mat. Slide the hands up to your thighs, coming into that lovely flat back position. Firm up through the belly. Reach the arms out left to right, that lovely aeroplane pressing the back of the hands up towards the sky. Drop the hips as you sweep the arms up into that lovely generous V chair pose. Rising up onto the balls of the feet, straightening the legs, maybe lifting the heels. Pause, woo, take an inhale. And as you exhale, drop the heels, swim the hands all the way back behind you so you can interlace them. Knuckles draw down, chest lifts as you inhale. And maybe this time as you exhale, bend the knees as you drape the body forwards, lifting the arms up and over. If that's not for you, just bring your fingertips to the floor. Lovely. When you get there, maybe you can start to straighten out through the legs a little bit, stretching out through the back, the hamstrings, the backs and legs. And then release the hands onto your low back. Bend the knees, sweep the arms all the way up towards the sky as you inhale. And as you exhale, let's bring the hands down to the heart. Lovely. Let's see if we can do that on the, the other leg. So hands coming to heart. Find your focus. Take an inhale. Exhale, hips drop back. Heart stays lifted. So keep the chest square up, not tipping down towards the floor as you open the arms into that lovely wide V shape. This time, left arm. So take an inhale. Exhale, left arm slices across outside of right thigh. Inhale through the middle. And as you exhale, changing sides, right arm slices across, try and keep the hips still. Inhale through center. And as you exhale, let's bring the hands all the way down to the floor. Inhaling, stepping left leg back, lowering hips. Beautiful. And as you exhale, step up and back, downward facing dog. Roll the body forwards to plank as you inhale. And as you exhale, we'll lower ourselves down onto your tummy, knees lifted or lowered. Inhale, squeeze those elbows in for your cobra or your upward dog, lifting yourself up. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Ah, nice breath out, sinking the heels down. Now shifting the weight to your right foot. So on your next inhale, you can float your left leg up. And as you exhale, step or help it forwards, top of the mat. You can drop the back knee or keep it lifted as you inhale into a high or low lunge. Find your balance. Beautiful. Exhale, bring the hands all the way down. Let's step the feet together at the top of the mat. Slide the hands up the legs, hands finding your thighs. So you can come into that lovely flat back, releasing the arms one last time into that lovely aeroplane. And then drop the hips, sweep the arms up into that generous V-shaped chair pose. Rising up to stand, pausing, and maybe peeling the heels up, taking that little balance challenge. Lovely. Take an inhale as you reach for the sky. And as you exhale, circle the arms down as you lower the heels. And this time we'll bring the hands onto the hips. Oh, well done, guys. Pause for a moment. Catch your breath. Beautiful. And then hands staying on hips. Now shift the weight into your left foot. So you can peel your right heel up. And then lifting your right knee up towards your chest. You're going to take a big step back, turning the heel in and the toes out for our warrior two. So we've got our left foot in the middle of the mat, toes pointing forwards, and the back foot facing the long edge of your mat, releasing the arms out to the side. Taking the gaze forwards over your fingertips, turning the palms up towards the sky. Inhale as you straighten the legs, arrow the arms up. Maybe take the gaze up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale back into your warrior, we look forwards with confidence since the year ahead. Inhale to rise up. So pull up through the low belly so the back stays nice and long. And exhale, deeply bend the front knee, float the arms down. Lovely. One more time. Inhale. 
big strong legs lovely exhale coming all the way down this time we're going to turn that front palm only up towards the ceiling reach forwards and then as you inhale reach all the way up and back into your reverse warrior lovely that top arm that left arm sweeps in front of the face arm coming to thighs you can take that right arm all the way up and over into our side angle right arm sweeps in front of the face left arm reaches up and back into our reverse warrior beautiful and then left arm sweeps in front of the face forearm to thigh top arm up or up and over you can tuck your chin in and look up towards the sky one more time, sweeping the arm in front of the face, reaching that left arm up and back. I'm going to pause here now. Option to stay here or pick up the front heel and see if you can bend a little bit more deeply into that left knee. Lovely. I'm going to lower the heel, take an inhale. And as you exhale, big cartwheel of the hands down to frame that front foot. Turning on the back foot so all 10 toes face forwards. As you inhale, Feel the left arm up towards the sky, coming into that lovely twist. And as you exhale, hands coming down. As you inhale, step back into plank pose. And as you exhale, let's lower down onto our tummies. If this is too much, have a little rest. Inhaling into your cobra or your upward dog. And then tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Take again that nice landing breath there. Take a nice deep breath in. Maybe even sigh the breath out. Ah, let it all go. Beautiful. Bend the knees, look towards the top of your mat. And as you inhale, take a step, a walk, or a hop, coming into your flat back at the top of the mat. And as you exhale, fold yourself down over the legs. Bend the knees, sweep the arms out and up. Big breath in as you reach up towards the ceiling. And exhale, hands coming down to the heart. And then down to your hips. Beautiful. I can turn around so I'm mirroring you on the other side. So pause there, find your focus, reset, and then shift the weight into your right leg. So you can maybe just peel up the heel of that left foot. You maybe just want to slide that leg back behind you. Or if you're feeling a little bit more steady, pick up the knee. And then we take a big step back with the left foot this time. And as the toes touch down, we drop the heel in. Maybe walk that right foot to the middle of the mat and separate the arms. So have a little peep at that front knee, tracking over towards the little toe. And then we look forwards again with confidence into the future as you turn the palms up. Rising up as you inhale, so you straighten the legs, maybe take the gaze up, pull up through the low belly and exhale, bend the front knee, take the gaze just beyond your fingertips, warrior two. Inhale, palms lift. They might meet above the hips, they might not, depends how the shoulders feel. Exhale, see if you can sink a little deeper into the legs. Lovely, strong poses. Inhale, lovely, strong warriors. And exhale, this time we'll pause in our warrior two, so we're gazing forwards just beyond the right fingertips. Just the right palm we flip up. Reach forwards, and then as you inhale, we take right arm up and back behind us, lovely. And then let that arm sweep in front of your face, forearm coming to thigh, top arm sweeps all the way up and over. You might even tuck your chin in. Sweep the arm in front of the face, right arm lifts, inhale. And exhale, arm sweeps in front of the face, taking the left arm up and over. We'll pause there. Last time, inhale, sweep the arm in front of the face. Let's take that right arm up and back. So the front knee is deeply bent, pause. Option now to lift that front heel and see if you can sink a little deeper. So strong in the legs. If that's not for you, keep the foot flat. Beautiful, lower the heel, take an inhale. And as you exhale, big cartwheel of the hands down, framing that front foot. Left hand stays on the floor, peel the right arm up as you inhale, turning towards your bent knee and exhale, frame the foot. Step back into plank as you inhale, last little bit. Exhale as you lower down onto your chest. Last little cobra or your upward dog. Exhaling hips high, downward facing dog. Option to have a little moment in child pose or pause in that downward dog. Lifting the hips up and back, breathing deeply. 
Beautiful. And then sending the gaze forward, bending the knees. As you inhale, step, hop, walk to the top of the mat into your flat back, little hop. And exhale, we'll fold over the legs, crown and head to floor. Let's take a generous knee bend as you sweep the arms all the way out and up. Last time. Oh, hands coming to heart, pause. That's got your juices flowing, hasn't it? Let's stop for a minute. Catch our breath. Find our focus, find your foundations now. So if you've been feeling, like I say, a little bit discombobulated with comings and goings, a change in routine. Let's see if we can find a little bit of stability now with a, a balance, lovely one to settle the mind. So if you are feeling a little bit wibbly wobbly for whatever reason today, feel free to use a piece of furniture or a wall to help you balance. Ah, oh, lovely. So let's shift our focus to our left leg. Really press into those three points again, base of big toe, base of little toe, middle of the heel. So as you peel that right heel up, we're already feeling nice and centered. You might just want to pivot on the foot and bring that right heel to rest on the top of the left foot. Or you can use your big toe as a kickstand or go ahead and bring that right foot up a little bit higher. And then reset, find your focus, open up through the knee, pull up out of that standing leg as you lift your chest a little higher. And then option just to stay there. Or maybe take the arms up into that lovely wide V that we've been playing with in our chair pose. So you can slide the shoulders away from the ears. Really stretch up through the fingers. Option if you're feeling really brave to take your gaze up towards the ceiling. Just that shift in gaze can make all the difference. Beautiful. Slowly bring the gaze back down as you bring the hands back to the heart. Option to stay there. Or... Now slide your right ankle over your left knee so it's above the knee. Lovely, flex the foot, squeeze that knee out to the side. As you come into your flying pigeon, we're going to send the hips back, keeping that knee open so chest stays lifted. And then option to reach the arms out in front of you. So hips back, arms forwards. Beautiful, it's a challenge there. And you reach up towards the sky, bringing that knee up towards your chest. And then foot to floor, hands to heart. Have a little pad foot to foot. That's a strong one there. Good hip stretch though. Ah, should we try the other side? Now I've got a dodgy ankle this side, so I might be wibbly wobbly. That's my excuse. And I'm sticking to it. So firm up through that right foot. Find your foundations as you peel left heel up. So you might, like me, have a little bit of imbalance going on in the body today, so you might want to adapt this second side or go ahead and bring that heel up. Never on the knee joint, it kind of destabilizes us and then pull up nice and tall, lift your chest. Option the hands stay at the heart or maybe coming up with me into that lovely wide V, spread out through the fingers, reach up towards the sky. An option to flicker. Feeling brave, flick the gaze up. Yes, I am. Look at that. You've grounded me, yogis. Slowly come back through the middle, hands coming to heart. And you've got the option to stay there. It's a lovely grounding pose. Or this time we slide left ankle above your right knee. So it's above the knee, so we can squeeze that knee out to the side. Woo, wobble, wobble. And then as you send your hips back, we try and keep the heart lifted. Kitchen is flying with me. Beautiful. Let's straighten up, lifting the knees. You take the arms up one last time. And then bringing the foot to the floor, lower the hands. Oh, have a little pad out, a little shake out. Oh, I could feel that. It's amazing how one imbalance in your body, one part of your body not working quite correctly, can impact everything, isn't it? So coming to the top of your mat, feet underneath your hips. Let's take a deep knee bend, sweep the arms up, deep breath in. And then a final hinge forwards from the hips as you exhale, finding your version of your flat back, fingertips to floor, shins or thighs as you inhale. And as you step back into a downward dog this time, let's widen our stance. Feet come towards the outside of your mat. Keep them there as you lower your knees so our knees are a little bit wider. Big toes point together. Hips slide towards your heels as you ease the arms out in front of you into that lovely, generous, Child pose there, a little bit of space between the knees so we can melt the chest down. 
Obviously, if that's uncomfortable on your hips, then feel free to point the knees forwards. Now you might just want to stay there and enjoy that reconnection with your breath, feeling grounded, feeling earthed. If you want a little bit more, come onto your fingertips of your right hand so you can slide your left arm underneath your right arm into a little thread knee. You're trying to roll that right armpit up towards the ceiling. You might feel a little stretch in your inner thigh going on as well. Lovely. And then we'll simply change sides. So coming up onto fingertips of left hand, right arm feeds underneath. So again, you're taking a little peek underneath your armpit. Oh, nice stretch into the back of the shoulder. And then we'll reach the arms out in front of you. Let's take one more nice breath there. Oh. And then lifting your head, lifting your chest, walk your hands back towards you. Beautiful, we'll point the knees together, drop your bottom to one side so you can swish elegantly the legs round in front of you. Pop a little bend in the knees. You might want to pop something underneath your sits bones as well. But take a deep breath in as you reach for the sky. Oh, and as you exhale, fold your way down. So at the end of a practice, maybe this feels a little bit different. You might find that the hamstring is a little bit more forgiving. Or again, you might just feel, oh, I'm feeling a bit tired now. You want that more restorative pose of bending your knees and wrapping your hands under your thighs. So again, let the practice meet you where you are today. Lovely, slowly, slowly, let's Wheel our way back up, rebuild the spine, slide your right heel in and allow that knee to drop open out to the side. Now, if that isn't for you, you can pop something underneath your knee or even keep both legs stretched out in front of you again. So inhale, reaching up and exhale, coming down over that left leg, chest stays square over that extended thigh if you can. We're not dipping to the right or to the left, easing our way down. Lovely, and then walking the hands back up the legs. Going to plant the right foot on the floor so the knee points up towards the ceiling. Now we've got the option to stay there, or this time you might cross it over the left leg. You might lean into your left buttock and hook the foot around just behind you so you're sitting between your heels. Obviously you can keep that left leg extended if you want. Left hand squeezes that knee in or use your elbow. So right arm takes that nice big circle. So you're turning towards that right knee, hand coming behind you, or maybe fingertips finding the floor. Maybe behind your right buttock, or some of you might be able to walk your hand around towards that left buttock. So you're opening up through the shoulder a little bit more. Lovely, head turning, if that's comfortable. Lovely. And then slowly, slowly, whatever the legs are doing, just let your chest come back through the middle and simply turn yourself round in the opposite direction. That's it. And then we'll bring both hands behind you so you can just lean into your hands and unravel the legs. Take them both out straight in front of you. Inhale as you reach up. Exhale, last time to hinge forwards all the way down, chin tucking in. Back of the head pressing up towards the ceiling. Oh, lovely. Well, hopefully we've had a nice time this morning. Walk the hands back up the legs. Left heel sliding in. That's going to be my New Year's resolution, I think. Have a nice time. Squaring yourself up over that right leg this time. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, coming down over that right leg. One side might feel a little different today. Lovely. And then as you walk the hands back up the legs, ready for that twist. So we bend the left knee, point the knee up towards the ceiling. Option to keep the foot on the inside, cross it to the outside, or Hook that right heel behind you so you're sitting between your heels. Just make sure that there's room for both buttocks to sit firmly on the floor there. 
right hand or elbow brings that knee in towards the chest. So this time it's a big circle with the left arm, fingertips, maybe behind left buttock, maybe walking around towards the right or just resting on your low back, whatever works for you. Lifting up nice and tall as you inhale and easing your way around as you exhale. And then whatever the legs are doing, bring your chest back to the front and then just take a little twizzle in the opposite direction, unraveling the spine, beautiful. Hands coming behind you, lean into your hands, extend the legs, give them a little shake and then we'll bring the feet to the floor so you can ease your way down onto your backs and bring your knees with you. Oh, and again, have a little massage there, a little rock or a circle of the knees. Beautiful. And then let's bring the feet back down to the floor, taking them nice and wide this time, heels to the outside edges of your mat. Let's just loosen off through the hips, toes out a little bit. So heels in, toes out, arms out level with the shoulders, or bring the arms above the head, resting one hand on top of the other if your shoulders feel nice and open. And let's drop both knees over to the right, maybe taking your gaze over the, to the left. And then back through the middle, rolling across the heels and then over to the other side. So continuing now, inhaling through the centre, exhaling, maybe pressing your hips in the same direction as your knees. A little movement through the back. Slowing things down, so really beginning to ease your way towards a moment in Shavasana. Let's do one more over to the left side with the knees. And then when you come all the way back up to the middle this time, option simply to walk your feet a little closer together, drop your knees against one another and bring the arms down alongside you or stretch both legs out in front of you. If you've got to pop off, thank you so much for coming this morning and happy new year. If you've got a moment just to seal the practice with a little bit of time now, feel free to join me. Again, if that hand on the chest and hand on the lower belly felt comforting and comfortable, feel free to do that again. You can always come up to seated with me with the eyes closed if that's more comfortable. And let's again just seal the practice by refocusing in on our breath. Breathing in, feeling your chest, your belly lift. You can feeling it a little bit around the shoulders and your face as well. And as you exhale, an opportunity to let go, releasing something somewhere. It might be a little pocket of tension you've noticed during the class. It might be an anxious thought, maybe a worry about the coming week or coming month ahead. And just seeing if you can take a moment to really feel grounded and centered reconnected. need a little bit more time this morning just to simply be, to be quiet, to be on your own, to be peaceful. Feel free to stay there and I can just turn the camera off at the end, but if you're ready to face whatever the rest of the day might bring, hopefully feeling again a little bit more grounded, let's just release the arms down alongside you, maybe a little wiggle of the fingers, a little wiggle of the toes, and then let's all end in that lovely full body stretch where we began, arms floating back, legs extending, maybe a little arch of your back, maybe a little wiggle into 
to your hips there, stretching one side and then the other. And then lower the arms, bring your heels towards your bottom, bring your knees in towards your chest. And then maybe roll to one side and then join me in a comfortable seated position. Take your time, no rush. And then when we find our way to a comfortable seated position, let's just go ahead and bring the hands together at the heart so you can drop some weight into your elbows. You can lift up through the breastbone so you feel a little length through the spine and then just gently let your chin drop little kind of bow of reverence down, opening up through the back of the neck. And again, at a time of year where a lot of the media was have us believe that we've got to change something about ourselves, do something new, reinvent ourselves. I leave you with these lovely words by the novelist Virginia Woolf, who wrote, no need to hurry, no need to sparkle, and no need to be anybody but oneself. Here, here. Let's take a big circle of the arms out to the side, lifting your chin, deep breath in together. And as you breathe out, bringing the hands back down to the heart, that little bow and acknowledgement to each other, a sharing of practice and wishing each other a happy and prosperous and healthy new year ahead. And now we say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, there we go. A little bit of movement there for us all this morning. Ah, oh, lovely.